From its humble beginnings as a design and consultation firm, the company's path winds through troubling chapters intertwined with the annals of World War II. With its involvement in military endeavors and collaboration with the Nazi regime, Porsche's legacy is stained with ethical dilemmas and haunting associations. As we marvel at the sleek sports car and technological innovations of today, it becomes imperative to confront the unsettling past that shaped this iconic brand. The dark undercurrents of Porsche's history remind us that even greatness can be marred by a disturbing past. Ferdinand Porsche, a name synonymous with automotive prowess, grew up in poor circumstances that lay the groundwork for his remarkable career. This chapter goes into Ferdinand Porsche's early years, showcasing his fascination with electricity and his revolutionary experiments with electric circuits. Ferdinand Porsche, born on September 3, 1875, in Mazadov, Bohemia, had a keen mind from an early age. His passion for electricity inspired him to pursue a degree in electrical engineering. He went on a path of discovery during his formative years, experimenting with electric circuits and polishing his talents as a fledgling engineer. Ferdinand Porsche began his career at Bella Egger & Co, an electrical equipment manufacturer situated in Vienna, Austria. It was here that he was able to demonstrate his imaginative energy and contribute to the advancement of electric motors. He quickly made great achievements in the profession due to his sharp mind and the constant pursuit of innovation. Ferdinand Porsche successfully created his first electric motor while working at Bella Egger & Co. This accomplishment was a watershed point in his life, demonstrating his technical prowess and foreshadowing his future contributions to the automotive industry. His early research with electrical circuits, as well as the invention of the electric motor, lay the framework for his subsequent efforts in the field of automobile engineering. Following his success with electric motor inventions, Ferdinand Porsche set his sights on further improving the car industry. In his pursuit of speed and performance, he became interested in racing vehicles. During this time, he came up with a Porsche P1, a notable achievement in the area of electric racing cars. Ferdinand Porsche's devotion to pushing the frontiers of automobile innovation is evidenced by the Porsche P1, which was created using a wooden carriage. Despite being constrained by large lead-acid batteries, the car's approximate 49-mile range impressed. While the automobile industry at the time considered cars primarily as objects of competition rather than mobility, the Porsche P1 demonstrated Ferdinand Porsche's unequalled engineering prowess, as well as his foresight into the future of electric vehicles. Ferdinand Porsche, on the other hand, did not stop there. He realized the limits of completely electric vehicles, particularly their short range, and set out to create a solution. In 1900, he pioneered the use of an internal combustion engine combined with electric motors, resulting in the world's first gasoline electric hybrid car, the Lona Porsche Electromobile. The Lona Porsche Electromobile combined the advantages of electric and gasoline engines, providing improved mileage and a more varied driving experience. This trailblazing car set the groundwork for hybrid technology's future, demonstrating Ferdinand Porsche's foresight and ability to anticipate the needs of the automobile industry. Ferdinand Porsche once again demonstrated his engineering prowess with the development of the Lona Porsche Electromobile. This game-changing idea not only catapulted him to the forefront of automotive innovation, but also ushered in a new era of efficient and sustainable transportation. Ferdinand Porsche turned to race after proving himself as an automotive inventor with his electric and hybrid innovations. His insatiable need for speed and performance drove him to work for Austro Daimler, a prominent vehicle manufacturer at the time. Ferdinand Porsche's engineering brilliance shined through in his remarkable creations at Austro Daimler. The Austro Daimler Maya, a strong racing car that highlighted his expertise in aerodynamics and performance engineering, was one of his key accomplishments. The Maya distinguished out with its sleek form, technological technology and incredible speed, cementing Ferdinand Porsche's image as a racing circuit force to be reckoned with. Ferdinand Porsche continued to develop advances in vehicle design after the triumph of the Maya. The Austro Daimler Model 2780 was his next famous design, a groundbreaking vehicle that utilized revolutionary technologies and advanced engineering concepts. The Model 2780 solidified Ferdinand Porsche's reputation as an extraordinary automobile engineer, garnering the industry's attention and appreciation. Ferdinand Porsche's racing skills and contributions gained him widespread fame and admiration. His unrivaled engineering abilities, along with his relentless commitment to performance, catapulted him to unprecedented heights. 
Ferdinand Porsche was named a professor at Austria Daimler in honor of his considerable aptitude and expertise, a prestigious title that cemented his status as a major figure in the automobile industry. When World War I broke out, Ferdinand Porsche's engineering brilliance drew the attention of military officials. Recognizing his remarkable abilities, he was asked to offer his knowledge to the war effort. Porsche's engineering brilliance was put to use in creating and developing cutting-edge military systems. During this period, one of Ferdinand Porsche's noteworthy accomplishments was in the field of aviation. He was instrumental in the development of modern aviation engines with enhanced performance, dependability and efficiency. His inventive designs propelled military aircraft of the time, giving them a strategic advantage in the skies. Porsche's inventiveness went beyond flying. He also contributed significantly to the development of airship engines, which were critical for reconnaissance and combat. His inventions pushed engineering frontiers, allowing airships to travel longer distances and carry bigger loads, enhancing the military's capabilities. Furthermore, Ferdinand Porsche's skill was critical in the design and manufacture of artillery tractors. These specialized trucks were critical in transporting heavy weaponry across difficult terrain, giving the military forces critical mobility. Porsche's ideas revolutionized artillery mobility, significantly improving efficiency and effectiveness. However, the exigencies of battle frequently required compromises. Like many engineers of the day, Ferdinand Porsche had to manage the intricacies of working within the military industrial complex. He had to balance technological breakthroughs, resource constraints, and pressing demands of wartime production. Despite these limitations, Porsche's ability to innovate and adapt to the situation cemented his position as one of the top engineers of his day. Following the end of World War I, Ferdinand Porsche resumed his pursuit of creating race vehicles. He recognized motor racing's enormous potential as a forum for pushing engineering boundaries and demonstrating technological advancements. Porsche's knowledge and reputation made him a well-known figure in the automotive business. Ferdinand Porsche collaborated on innovative initiatives with Daimler-Benz, a well-known vehicle manufacturer. His engineering prowess and forward-thinking approach were instrumental in the creation of the Mercedes-Benz S-Series, a range of premium sports automobiles famous for their performance and elegance. Porsche's contributions to the S-Series laid the groundwork for Mercedes-Benz's enduring status in motorsports. The SSK was a standout vehicle in the Mercedes-Benz S-Series. The SSK, which was introduced in the 1920s, immediately became a symbol of power, speed and automotive perfection. Its streamlined form, combined with a powerful engine, made it a racing force to be reckoned with. The SSK won impressive victories in prestigious races under Porsche's direction, confirming its reputation as a strong force in motorsports. Ferdinand Porsche's partnership with Daimler-Benz not only catapulted the corporation to new heights, but also cemented his reputation as a remarkable engineer and designer. His inventive ideas and an unwavering pursuit of performance excellence laid the groundwork for Mercedes-Benz's future success in both racing and luxury automobile manufacturing. Ferdinand Porsche found himself in conflict with the company's strategy and artistic vision after a successful term at Mercedes-Benz. His departure resulted from a disagreement of ideas which marked a key turning point in his career. Porsche's relentless devotion to innovation as well as his drive to pursue his vision drove him to look for fresh chances abroad. However, the automobile firm Porsche later joined experienced financial difficulties and eventually went bankrupt, leaving him jobless. This unanticipated setback presented considerable hurdles for Porsche, who was suddenly confronted by uncertainty and the necessity to choose a new course. Ferdinand Porsche, undeterred by hardship, resolved to take matters into his own hands. He saw an opportunity to start his automobile firm, one that would symbolize his engineering prowess and cutting-edge design ideals. In 1931, he established Porsche GmbH, a corporation dedicated to creating remarkable automobiles that pushed the limits of performance and elegance. The early days of Porsche GmbH were fraught with difficulties. Limited resources, a small workforce, and a highly competitive industry all offered significant challenges. Ferdinand Porsche's unwavering determination and ability to attract talented employees, on the other hand, contributed to the company's future success. Ferdinand Porsche had an important partnership with Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime in the late 1930s. Porsche accepted the challenge of creating a cheap and practical car for the German people and spearheaded the development of the Volkswagen Beetle. With its characteristic rounded design and rear mounted engine, this tiny and durable vehicle immediately became an automobile symbol. The Volkswagen Beetle captivated the public's imagination with its efficient design and low pricing. 
It provided dependable transportation for families, changing the concept of the people's car. The Beatles' popularity skyrocketed and its production was met with tremendous demand, propelling it to become one of the most extensively produced and recognized cars in history. Porsche's cooperation with the Nazi regime, however, extended beyond the Volkswagen project. He became involved in military contracts and helped to create military equipment such as tanks and armored cars. This concession, prompted by political pressure and market needs, had a long-term influence on Porsche's brand and history. Porsche's post-war image was tainted by his affiliation with the Nazi dictatorship and military initiatives. As the world acknowledged the crimes done during the war, he faced criticism and challenges. Despite his apparent engineering abilities, his association with the dictatorship left a murky legacy that would impact his career and perception of his accomplishments. The Ferdinand tank, designed by Ferdinand Porsche, experienced numerous obstacles during its development. While the Ferdinand had outstanding features and weaponry, such as a powerful 88mm gun, it was prone to mechanical problems and had difficulty negotiating through terrain. However, the Elephant Tank Destroyer design was repurposed and found considerable success on the Eastern Front during World War II. Porsche's company, like many others, used forced labourers, including concentration camp prisoners, in its factories throughout the war. This profoundly immoral behavior has tarnished Porsche's legacy and reputation. Porsche later admitted its role in the use of slave labor and expressed regret for their conduct. Following the war, the French government imprisoned Ferdinand Porsche due to his involvement with the Nazi leadership and contributions to military projects. During his stay in prison, he encountered significant emotional and professional problems. Despite the adversity, Porsche stayed steadfast and his love of engineering continued. Ferdinand Porsche's life was tragically cut short while he was still in prison. That's all for this video today. We'll be right back with more, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.